a very blinding highlight. This one's really watery. How pretty that is. Oh my god, holy grail. Hey guys, so today's video, I'm reviewing another brand. Today's Eloise Beauty. I got recommended them so many times on Instagram, I just figured I'd give them a try. I didn't even realise, I already have one of their products. I've had this foundation brush, which is almost a horse brush that you would like brush a horse with. I've had this foundation brush for ages and I didn't even really clock who it was by. I don't use it a huge amount but it is really nice for like getting underneath the eye and around the nose because of its teardrop shape. It's really nice to hold because of the handle. I just don't use it very often because if I'm going to grab a foundation brush I'm going to grab it from my foundation pot. This is good quality and I really like it so when I realised that I had a feeling this brand was going to be pretty good. Um, so I have a bunch of products, so let's scoot you in so we can try these out. Sorry the lighting's changed ever so slightly, but I'm more facing the window now, so it's just easier for me to use natural light. So first of all is the highlighters. The reason Eloise even piqued my interest was because of this highlighter. Look how stunning this highlighter is. And the formula. It's so metallic. It's a very wet metallic looking highlighter, so if you don't like those, the Lights Camera Action Powder highlighters are definitely not for you. Um, but if you like really metallic looking highlighters, these are phenomenally pretty. And I'm going to be putting it on in a second. I scoured my order and I didn't order this. This is their Illuminating Drops. Oh, missed. These again are so pretty. These are a little dark for me. You can see there how much like darker this one is but it's still really metallic and really pretty. So I'm going to put on the Lights Camera Action. Look how pretty that is. So as you can see, it's a very blinding highlight. It probably doesn't come across well enough on camera. Next is their liquid blushes. I've never been a huge fan of cream blushes, but this has converted me. This is the one product I pick up consistently from this brand. I kind of honestly wish they had a few more colours because this is very warm tone, obviously. This is like a very orange. I don't really get the applica applicator. The applicator is almost like a doe foot, so it's almost like a liquid lipstick kind of doe foot, but longer. So I don't really get that. This makes me look and gives me the confidence that I feel and look younger because it's such a dewy, beautiful blush. I always put this on with a sponge. I've never put this on with a brush. So I just get a dip from the applicator and just kind of saturate my sponge. Just go in. So this is a, I've currently got powder foundation on and this is one of the other things I love about this blush that you can easily just put this over powder and it doesn't disrupt your powder foundation, it doesn't disrupt anything, it just makes you look so stunning. You can see here like, and I'd already wiped off the highlighter, like that glow is coming from this blush. And to be honest I used to kind of like dot it over my cheek and then go in from there, but I do find that I end up like with super super over overly blushed cheeks if I do that. Putting it on a sponge and then slowly blending it in definitely works the best. The colour as well is so freaking pretty. I want them to bring out more shades. Next I want to talk about eyeshadow. They have a bunch of different eyeshadow formulas. I thought I'd kind of try out a bunch of them. By the way, their packaging comes really sleek like this, but I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. I got these because they were on sale. Look how stunning their packaging is. Their packaging is beautiful. I got this for about eight quid. This is like a liquid glitter eyeshadow. So pretty. Oh, this one's really watery. I haven't actually used these yet. This one's really watery. Yeah, you can, I think you can kind of see this water here. These are like the Stila kind of eyeshadows. This is like a gorgeous glitter green. Look how pretty that is. It's like a minty lime green. Like the lime green I wanted it to be in my NARS video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it. And then I also got this pot. I don't know why I got this. I think I just wanted to try it out. To be honest, I haven't tested this yet. I haven't even swatched it yet. But it comes because it's like a loose glitter. I don't use these that often. Look how pretty. It's gorgeous. They have some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I would say the only eyeshadow I'm clearly having a problem with 
is this blue. Let's just try and... No, it's still really watery. I've mixed it up. I'm not impressed by this blue. What shall I do? I was going to do this orange, like, winged out. I've already used the mint green colour. The Steeler kind of one. I have to apologise for the picture because I went out and then realised, oh, shit. I was meant to take a picture for Instagram. It's pretty easy to do. This one's nice and saturated. I haven't got any kind of like leakage problem. I kind of need one dip just for the top and one dip for the wing, which is pretty good to be honest. I'm not having to re-dip too often. Okay, let me do some mascara and then we'll be back for the lip. Okay, so I just put some mascara on. The last thing I have is their lip glosses. So I got the shade Cupcakes. Um, this is the packaging, it's really pretty. Very like sleek. It's got a flat paddle dofa. That is the shade here. Very like nude lip gloss, really pretty. Oh, by the way, it smells incredible. Why from dofa does it not smell that good? I'm just gonna line my lips. All those Pat McGrath lip liners and I still don't sharpen my lip liners. So I just used Alamar Cosmetics Dolce Lip Liner. Now I'm going to put on the lip gloss. So this is a super pigmented lip gloss. You can see how saturated that is. This is a thicker formula. I feel like this would get all over my teeth. It feels really comfortable. It's not sticky at all. I think just because I have other colours I prefer. I wouldn't pick this up automatically. And also, like I said, because it's like a thicker formula, you can really feel it on the lips. It's not uncomfortable in any way. You know how you can feel a heavy foundation? You can feel this lip gloss. It's not you put it on like, oh, I completely forgot I had that on there. It's not one of those kind of lip glosses. It's definitely one of those lip glosses you're going to be aware of. Okay, so in conclusion, the highlighters, if, if you want a super metallic highlighter, the Lights Camera Action Powder Highlighters are absolutely beautiful. I really, really like this highlighter. I gravitate towards it a lot. I love their packaging. I love the simplistic but elegant packaging that they have. The Illuminating Drops, I can't really say because I haven't really been able to test these out. They are super thick, really metallic, so if you like that, you very well may like these, especially for body highlighting. The blush, oh my god, holy grail, new love affair with this blush. I have loved this throughout summer, it's made me feel like I've got super youthful looking cheeks, I feel like I just look younger every time I wear this. I don't feel like I'm 30. Definitely gonna be looking at more colours. Never thought I'd say that about a cream blush. The Get Lit Metallic Foiled liquid eyeshadows. Orange one I have no problem with. I was able to create the wing liner really really easy. The blue one I would say is a miss. It separates really easy. These were on sale so it could be they're just older stock and maybe this one's not necessarily gone off but I will say most of the time if things separate you can normally shake them up or mix them up and they're fine. This one is just super super watery so I would say the blue one's a miss but if you like orange this is really pretty. However if you really want a glitter shadow where you have no issues these dealer kind of things, I can't remember what the name of this is because it's not on the packaging. These more like glitter ones are stunning. Like I can't get over how beautiful that shade is. Just ultra, ultra metallic, ultra glittery if you want glitter shadows. I don't know, I feel like they're about as expensive as Stila, so there are drugstore alternatives, but if you want super, super easy going glitter, this is really good. And they have a ton of shades. The loose glitters, like I said, I don't use these very often. I have a very similar glitter from uh, JD Glow Cosmetics. Gorgeous. I just don't use them very often because they're just a little bit awkward. If you are in the market for like loose, ultra fine glitters, like... It's really pretty. And lastly, the gloss. It's not moving around as much as I thought. To be honest, I was really worried that I was going to have, because I'm not obviously looking at myself. Honestly thinking by now, in the outro, I would have a ton of stuff all over my teeth, but it's not moving around as much as I thought it would. I think these would be very, very long-wearing lip glosses. Because they're thicker, it feels like there'd be more long-wearing lip glosses at the moment. I put on a lip gloss and realise, well, if I'm going outside, I'm going to have to wear a mask. So I may as well just take that off and put a liquid lipstick on. Even though I have been gravitating towards glosses recently, I can't wear them out and about. I can wear them on camera. The second I eat, I'm wiping it off so I can eat, or I'm wiping it off so I can go out and put my mask on. So unfortunately, I can't give a full-on 
day review of what these feel like or how long they wear. That's everything for the video. Please give it a big like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you feel like it. I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to post two videos a week again. If you've been enjoying any of the content, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.